So when it comes to builds, people usually just theory craft until they create a certain build that they think will work or that they just enjoy or saw from another video. Now, I am going to give you guys two talents that you should run on every single build that you end up creating in the Division 2. Now, I say this on every single build that you make because it is easily obtainable and you don't have to sacrifice anything in order to get these two talents, but they will benefit you greatly in PvP and both PvE if you have them on your builds. So, you can either have these talents on your pistol, which I would recommend most, or on your primary and secondary weapons. Now, the role that I have on my pistol if we take a look is stop drop and roll so this is very handy when you get on to a status effect basically whenever you're on a status effect and you do a rollover then the status effect gets completely wiped off of you now this can occur every once in 60 seconds whether it's fighting npcs and you get put on fire or if you're playing pvp and you get put on incinerary grenade fire this will definitely help you in being able to counter other players from putting you in status effect. So I highly recommend that you put stop, drop, and roll on either your sidearm or whatever primary or secondary that you have. Now the next talent that you need to run, if we take a look over here, protected reload. While equipped, this weapon grants plus 10% armor while reloading. Now. This may not seem big, but it is actually pretty huge, especially if you're running a more of a DPS build. So as we take a look here, I'm going to shoot my magazine and then I'm going to reload. If we take a look at the armor, you can see that blue armor that pops up and that is bonus armor that is granted to you while you are reloading. Now this can be very strong for LMGs because LMGs have longer reload speed. But nonetheless, it is very helpful whenever you're reloading and trying to get out of a situation. And the cool part is, it works, all of these talents, they work with any single gun that you have. So, it doesn't work for one single weapon. Both of these are retroactive, so the stop, drop, and roll, I don't need to have the pistol equipped while doing it. And same with this protected reload, I don't need to only have the weapon on in order to perform the task. I could have any weapon equipped. As long as I have these two talents on my build, they will work 100% functionality. And the best thing about these are that they are in the third talent slot of weapons. Now this third talent spot of weapons, they don't really have a good variety of talents you can run. Most of them are pretty pointless when it comes to... So if we take a look right here, while holstered you are able to resist 5 end snare attempts. I don't really think that's you know too important and it seems very situational compared to something like always reloading you get 10 percent extra armor it's definitely more helpful to have these two talents on and you can have them on every single build that you end up making and plus you still have your primary weapon if you like another third slot talent that you can still roll on for example i like uh rooted as a third talent so if I have another weapon with rooted, like we look right here, while equipped and in cover, all skill damage and healing is increased by plus 25% for 10 seconds. If there's that, that third talent you still like to have on your build, of course, you can still throw it on that gun that still has that third slot available. So that pretty much concludes the video. I just wanted to make a really short clip telling you guys that these two talents are very important to have on any build no matter what i really wanted to emphasize that no matter what build you make these two talents are able to be put on those builds and you will most likely have an advantage over players that don't have these talents and you don't have to worry about these talents affecting your build whatsoever because they're just the third slot of any weapon that you have so if you guys did find the video helpful in any way shape or form make sure to share the video to people that may not know about this make sure you hit that like button comment down below any questions you may have or suggestions and most of all make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can catch more videos like this in the future this was a concealed gamer and i will see you on the next one